Hello and welcome guys to another episode of the Zig Wheels Analysis. Today is a special video one because my partner Arun is not here. He is up in the mountains for a special assignment. And two, we've received this unique case from, as you can see, Harley Davidson. Now this is regarding its upcoming HD 4XX bike and more details about it. So they've sent us this case and if you unlock it, you have to put in 440 and then it sort of unlocks and inside this you get oh there is a tablet that's not it but yeah let's start with the tablet and once you unlock it here are the first images of the harley davidson x 440 and as i can see through this images uh, the styling is fairly reminiscent of the old xr 1200x now if you remember the xr 1200 was one of the more sportier harleys of its time i'll just shut this right now uh, it was one of the most sportier harley of its time and this does certainly look more sportier than the traditional harley cruiser so this isn't an out and out feet forward lazy cruiser but more of a roadster and in that sense harley is keeping the sporty bits intact now it does look kind of hot because it comes in this special black gray color with the hot orange accents even that x440 logo looks pretty hot so like i said upright ergonomics roadster ergonomics it doesn't quite have the feet forward stance like a cruiser and that is evident from the chunky a handlebar riser that you can see so the controls are quite close to the rider even the seat it's a single piece seat but it's scooped so that the rider seat height is quite accessible and the foot pack position is not forward side but more neutral so all in all it should be a quite a comfortable motorcycle now uh, the x440 sort of gives it away what the engine displacement is so it is likely to be 440 cc 441 or 442 cc that doesn't matter but 440 cc single cylinder air cooled and there is an oil cooler no liquid cooled because this bike is built to a cost and it has to be accessible for the masses yes it is still premium the bike looks pretty premium in these images but it is still built to a cost so uh, in that sense this engine will not pack a lot of modern tech it won't be packing a lot of electronics not even ride by wire because in one of these images you can see that there are cables coming out so expect the throttle to be via a cable no ride by wire and that's okay now arun would have ranted like you don't need electronic aids you don't need traction control and all but okay this bike fits that bill of a slightly easy going motorcycle uh, in that sense but it will not be too laid back like a typical harley cruiser so you don't expect it to be lazy it will be modern it will be slightly aggressive but don't expect it to be pumpy or and punchy like a 390 duke it will be more on the lines of say a uh, evolve g310r but in a harley version the engine that is uh, six speed gearbox maybe maybe not we'll wait and see about that now the engine is housed in a brand new split dual cradle frame and it is suspended by a USB fork that we knew from the previous spy images as well as twin shocks with piggy bank uh, reservoir. Now no adjustability on the fork, there is preload adjustability on the twin shocks and that's okay. Even the brakes, they are by uh, units, not a radial caliper at the front, a simple axial caliper and that should be fine for a motorcycle of this intention. The tires, well, before I go to the tires, the wheels. Now it's an 1817 setup, machine finished alloy wheels. Now the tires, they look like fairly phantom sport comps, the ones which you used to get on the old Royal Enfield Interceptor and the Continental GT650, as well as you still get on the Triumph Street Twin, or which should I say, Speed Twin 900. But these are in fact MRF hike tires, and I think they are specially developed for the X440. The sport comps weren't the grippiest of them all. Hopefully, these MRFs should be quite good. That's not all. This was not the only thing as part of the kit. Now, if I remove this layer, they've gone full spy mode with these 3D glasses as well as this card. Now, if I were to see, it says, Hero Global Center for Information and Technology, Jaipur, India, 3rd, 4th, July, 2023. So apparently, the bike launch might be 3rd of July and 4th of July might just be the ride. And uh, if you want to know more about this bike, 
hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon because we should be there if Hali has invited us we would be there at the CIT in Jaipur to get a first glimpse of the bike and maybe even ride the bike pricing wise we expect it to be around rupees 2.5 2.7 lakh rupees and that is quite a decent amount not too premiumly priced not too low and in that sense it's the right fit what do i expect from this motorcycle now this was what was seen on the bike but what do i expect from the bike now i hope that this remains a harley davidson what do i mean by that well you see companies certain companies have tried to emulate royal enfield and they have built their versions of what a royal enfield roadster should be if you know which companies i'm talking about do let me know in the comments below but Harley Davidson should keep the Harley Davidson DNA intact. And I know this isn't a long cruiser like I have said over and over again. But still, I don't expect this motor to be super powerful. It should be super talky given its long stroke configuration. So I'm expecting power to be around 35-38 PS and torque to be around 30-35 Nm. And that's enough because it's a air cooled and with oil cooler engine. That's enough. Hopefully, cruisability, highway cruisability should be around 100-110 kmph and you should have enough power on tap to make those quick overtakes as well. And given this that there is a long stroke configuration, it should also be quite tractable for city usage. So meaning you could just leave the bike in third and fourth gear and ride along without being stressed. It should be an easy riding experience. Also. Like I said, this is not a cruiser, it's a more compact motorcycle, so it should be lighter to steer and fun to ride in the city. Because you don't want to just use the bike for a single purpose. You want to be able to enjoy it in multiple different scenarios. So hence, a roadster format does make sense. Moving on, if you were expecting a cruiser, let me tell you, there would be one. Not very soon, but there should be one coming from this very same platform. Maybe in the near future, maybe towards the end of the year or maybe next year. But to start with, this would be the bike. And this is a very important bike for Harley Davidson. Not only for India, but also internationally. For India, this is the new entry point into the Harley folklore. Now, if you remember, the Street 750 was being made in India, but operations since then have discontinued of the factory and hence uh, asking prices of each one of the Harley Davidson bikes has shot up massively. I mean, you don't get any Harley below 13, 14 lakh rupees anymore. So two and a half, 2.7 lakh rupees would be fantastic for those who are looking to buy a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Now internationally, this is a more important motorcycle as it is not like the Chinese Harley X350 or the X500 because basically they're just restyled Benelli's. This bike will go up against the likes of the Royal Enfield Classic 350 as well as the upcoming Triumph Bajaj bike. The Triumph Bajaj bike details come out on June 27th. That's what Raji Bajaj tells us. This bike detail comes out on July 3rd. So within the span of one week, we are expecting a lot of hot action. So expectations are high from this bike, not only for Indian masses, but also global audiences. So what do you think about the Harley Davidson bike? Now, these are the images you've seen the bike. We'll bring you up close action on July 3rd and July 4th. What would you like us to cover in the review? Do let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video, smash the subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon and Arun, come back. We need you here. Bye.